D Nitty in the building. Okay, so basically, what you wanted to do was to jump on the the uh, the truckers talk of what would you do in that in the now viral video between the trainer and trainee. Get let's get the fuck out this truck. I'll fuck you up, nigga. Fuck is you talking to, blood? You talking no nigger here. Fuck is you talking to, blood? I'll beat your nigger. motherfucking ass, homeboy. Fuck wrong with you. I'll beat the fuck out of you in here. You better watch how the fuck you talk to me. Well, I told you. I don't give a fuck what you tell me. Watch yep. how you talk to me. You will get fucked up in here, Dave. Straight up. But on the back end, you asked me uh, uh you asked me about the video. So let me let me go ahead and uh let me go ahead and, and, and talk about my back end part. So of course I seen the initial video on Asian Mai. As always, one of my subscribers or one of my viewers sent me the link. And as always, they 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 wanted me to, you know, check it out and all like that. So when I seen the video, I was like, you know, I was like, wow. So in my mind, I was like, I was like, well, I, I need to ask the guy because the main question that Asian Mai didn't ask would be the question that I would ask. And my question would have been, how did you get the video? Like, how is that? possible if that's a company truck because i'm not sure if it was his camera maybe but it showed outside and then it cut to the inside maybe they must have hit the button to activate the camera or something like that i'm not sure but that's what i would have asked that's that's what i would have asked so i i said well you know what let me go ahead and reach out to the guy. Uh, I went to his Instagram. Uh, his Instagram is uh, Intercontinental Reek. He's a podcaster as well. And I, I thought it would be a, a great uh, conversation. You know, I would have been on his podcast and he would have been on my podcast, which would have been, uh, been great. You know what I'm saying? So I reached out to him. And we had a conversation, you know, in the DM, setting everything up. I, you know, I told him that this was going to be an over-the-phone conversation. So, you know, I would need the phone number, yada, 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 yada. So he sent me the phone number. We got together in the text message via phone number. And I told him, you know, I told him, you know, when he'll be ready. You know, we talked in the morning. He said he'll be ready in about an hour, hour and a half or something like that. But, you know, my signal is always crap. So I can't, I can't come back to you. I can only come back to you if I have a good signal or if I think I'm going to have a modest good signal. Unfortunately, I didn't have a good signal until later in the day. And I started uh, testing them, you know. But first, I sent him my... Uh, podcast release which he signed so we we was pretty much ready to go bro we we was ready to go like you know I couldn't wait to you know I couldn't wait to hear the story you know so later on that day I say maybe around three o'clock um if I'm not mistaken three maybe I know it was like late in the day maybe like three maybe like four or something like that and I reached back out to him and I said, hey, you know, I said, my signal's good now. Uh, are you ready? I, I guess no answer. So I say maybe about 10 minutes later, I'll, I hit him back up again. You know, I'm, you know, if you're if we're in trucking, maybe he was, you know, driving or whatever, whatever. And he couldn't answer the, the text. And I was like, cool. So I reached back out. I says, uh, I says, hey, you know, I said, this is a uh, lockout man. Um, I said, are you available to, you know, available to chat? I guess nothing, nothing at all. So I'm over here like, okay, well, let me go over to his Instagram, you know, to let him know that because on the, on the Instagram, you could see when somebody's available, 
on Instagram. So I seen the little red dot, so I knew he was available. So I went to his Instagram and I said, hey, bro, I says, uh, you know, this is lockout man here. I'm, you know, I'm available. You know, I said, I got good signal. Let's get it in. Nothing. Like, okay. So then I'm going in my head like, all right, well, let me go ahead and just call him, right? You know, if he ha if he have his headset on or something like that, you know, maybe he couldn't text, you know, and I, I put all that in consideration. You know, we're, we're truck drivers, so, you know, we're not going to be able to text or whatever, whatever. So I said, let me go ahead and call him. I calls him up. He answers the phone. I go, hey, bro, this lockout man, I says, uh, you ready to get it in? And I get a, I get a click. I'm like, bro hung up on me. I'm like, okay. I'm thinking to myself, like, what's that about? You know what I'm saying? So me, be, me being me, I'm like, okay, well, I guess you don't want to talk. So I'm not going to. You know, I'm not going to bother you. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to bother you. I'm not going to reach back out to you. None of that. Especially if you hang. I mean, especially if you hang up. My thing is this. It would have been nice if he would have just said, hey, bro, I changed my mind or, or you know, uh, or whatever the case. You know what I'm saying? I even would have been good if he would have been like, oh, well, you know, I want to keep my uh, I want to keep my interview exclusive with Asian Mai. I would have been good with that. I would have been like, oh, okay, bro, no problem, cool. But just the ghost of brother? Like, and, and we have No, we, no, we ain't nothing. I ain't get nothing. Nothing at all. Like I said, the, the you know, in the morning, like I said, when we set everything up, we was good to go. We was we was good to go, bro. I mean, we was literally. I got, I sent him my podcast release. He, huh? You can you can use the video. I said you signed the release. You got the video. It's all good. Right. I mean, he signed. You know, he signed the podcast release, and uh, and we was and we was good to go. But yeah, like I said, we we was we was good to go, bro. Like we we was ready, set, go. I mean, if I had. If I had good signal right then and there, then yeah, we would have, you know what I'm saying? We would have, we we would have, we would have skated off. But considering the fact that you know I I be driving in some areas that I know that my signal isn't good, and I didn't want to get them on and start talking, and then I lose I lose signal in 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 the midst of a good conversation, which has happened to me many a times, but maybe I should have did it. You know what I'm saying? Because I could have edited it and all like that. We could have got it in right then and there. But I was like, yeah, I said to myself that this this is going to be a pretty good conversation. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because this is not only this is not only going to be a pretty good conversation, but this is going to be like uh, a teachable moment because – I, we would have found out what Dave said prior to them blowing up in the video. Get the, get the fuck out this truck. I'll fuck you up, nigga. Fuck is you talking to, blood? You're talking no nigga here. Fuck is you talking to, blood? I'll That's beat your motherfucking nigga. ass, homeboy. My line of questioning would have, would, would have been different, definitely different than it would have been, you know, from, from what Asia my did because... Like I said, the, the question that Asia and I didn't ask is, how did you get the video? Like, you know, again, you know, the, the, the round back to where we started talking, like, where did you, how did you, how did you get the video? Like, did you, was that your camera? You know, was that like a GoPro or something like that? You was, you you was driving and then when you pulled over, you was able to turn the GoPro around quick or because I mean, the way the camera was centered, it looked like it was, it looked like it was centered in the, in the, in the middle of the window, like a company camera, right? And if it's a company camera, it means they got forward and backwards cameras. You know what I mean? And I don't see a company giving that video out to somebody that they can use, you know, 
Exactly. Especially considering the fact that how, and I'm just going to throw it out there, how disrespectful both of them was. You know, I mean, there wasn't, there wasn't no, there, there was, there was plenty of blame to go around on both sides. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, I, the blame I, for, I mean, the blame for Dave going off on like he did. And then, of course, the blame on Tyreek for literally blowing up like he did. You know, he, you know, he took it, he, he took it to another level in, in the, in the speak that he was, he was saying. I mean, not only that he threatened, you know, not only that he threatened the guy and all like that. So, you know, I also wanted to know, is he still, are you still with the company? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Are you still with the company or, you know, and I ain't even get a chance to, you know, I ain't even get a chance to ask him none of that, but it's cool though. But my thing is this, we, we set it something up. You know what I'm saying? We set it something up, but if you wanted if you just wanted to be uh, just on the Asian my platform, then I would have been cool with that. You know, you called me up and said, hey, bro, um, thanks for the reach out. I appreciate it, but I want to keep my exclusive over with Asian my. And I would have been like, cool. You know, I mean, I still would have did what I did on my platform, you know, to, you know, to get what was going on out there. But um, just to ghost me, that's. Hell, that's not even professional coming from a person that's in the podcast world. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's yeah, well, that's what kind, of, what kind of podcast you really got? You know, I'm a beginner trainer, a trainee. Mm -hmm. You know, starting my life off as a trainee. I mean, you got millions of those kids. Yo. Oh, this is my uh my company. I'm a truck driver. Blah blah. You're not a truck driver until you hit two years, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> You know what I mean? Uh, hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, right? Uh, hold on. Wait, hold up. Back, back it up, bro. Back hold it up. On. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. First thing first. Wait. First thing first. You're going to have to. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, D. First thing. You can't. Uh-uh. You first thing first. You're going to have to get me off the speaker, bro. If you're going to come and talk and say some stuff like that, I need you to be clear. It sounded like you underwater right now, man. saying is the first year you're going to find out if you're going to survive or not as a trucker, as far as weather conditions are going to crash, plus mentally, you know what I mean? It's going to take about two years for you to master your skill. That's one thing as a truck driver. But it's going to also take two years to see if your mental stability can handle it because your girlfriend's going to be fucking somebody else or you're fucking, you know, someone's going to be bitching about you not being home. You're not going to see your fucking friends. It's about two years. If you can survive two years, then welcome to the trucker world. That's why I consider yourself like uh, initiated as far as a real trucker. I'm not saying you're not trucking, you know what I mean? But I don't consider you a trucker yet until you survive two years. Because everything's like in limbo. Does that make sense? Okay. Like you okay. Know, not, does that make sense? That, that trucker, makes that makes know? plenty of sense. It will make a lot more sense if you get off the speaker and put me on the phone. All right. So. In that situation, you've seen the situation. Get, let's get the fuck out this truck. I'll fuck you up, nigga. Fuck is you talking to, you blood? You talking no nigga here. Fuck is you talking to, blood? I'll beat your motherfucking ass, ass homeboy. Uh, if you was in, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch it with you because you're you're actually a certified trainer with uh night transportation, right? Yeah. Okay. I did a road so, side. So if you was in Dave's situation and, you know, Tyreek went off on you like that, what would you do? See, I'm not, I'm not going to, I don't know the whole story. You know? So like, okay, my okay, questions. okay, D, we're going to keep it, D, we're going to keep it on the, D, we're going to keep it on the rails. Based on the video, exit only. based on the video that you saw. Where Tyreek? Right, yeah, no, I am. Okay, That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm okay, so out. based on the video, we're not going off the rails. We're going to keep it on. Based on the video uh -huh. that you saw, the, the the argument between Dave and Tyreek. If you was Dave and Tyreek went off on you like that, what would you do? No, I get that, but you gotta listen to what I'm about to say. So it's gonna make sense. So if I was Dave. And this has been going on for the whole week. I don't know. He just jumped in the truck and we left. 
if he just jumped in the truck and he, the first the first street he got on and he started riding his ass like that, that's a little out of line. That's one thing. I mean, these students, they don't understand what they're supposed to do. That's what you're oh, there oh, for. Okay, D, you know I mean? D, D, we're going off the rails again. We're not. Listen, no, no, listen, not. listen, we're listen, not. Listen, no, listen, no, no, listen. no, 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 no. If you was dead, I want to see. No, no, I'm you don't need to. Justify that. No, you don't. No, no, no. If you was Dave in that initial situation where Tyreek went off at that point, what you would have did in that point? Don't we don't need no. When we, right yeah, when he was when Tyreek was talking reckless to Dave. What uh, would you uh, would have uh, did yeah, in I that did, position? Talking about the whole beginning. No, no, we're not First talking all, about the beginning. I, I, we're not talking about the I middle. I got you. I got you. I okay. got you. I okay. got you. I Go got ahead. You. Go. As soon as you would have threatened me, I probably would have fucking I probably would have fucking leveled you, bro. <laughs> like honestly, like, not, like like not only that, my dog is usually in the truck, and my dog, as soon as you start waving your fucking hands, he's gonna go at you too. <laughs> and I'd have you screaming for your fucking life. I promise you. I, I, I don't give a fuck. You're not trying to be in my truck, bro. There you I'm go. not. He not. He. Yo, listen. I, listen. I don't know what really went down, but it, like we, just looking at that. Right. As soon as you threaten me, bro, mm -hmm. it's going down. But you picked the right trainer to go against, bro. Because <laughs> now we're not all old and feeble. I'll tell you that right now. And some of us come from the hood too. You know what I mean? <laughs> But, like, you, you got to be very wise on who you fucking snap like that. I'll tell you that right now. That was a little fucking crazy. You could yell at him. You could mm -hmm. say, hey, asshole, fucking, you know, don't talk to me like that, this, mm -hmm. that, and the other, blah, blah. But, mm -hmm. but that whole fucking, I'll fuck you up. What up, blood? He ain't a blood, bro. He ain't no gangster. Yo, get the fuck out of here, bro. But I'll get, let's get the fuck out this truck. I'll fuck you up, nigga. Fuck is you talking to, blood? You're talking to no nigga here. Fuck is you talking to, blood? I'll That's beat your motherfucking ass, homeboy. I would oblige him on that real quick. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> like straight up, bro. You say you, no, you say real dude. quick. Yo, yo, real right. quick. You, you, I would have chopped him in his throat so fucking fast. I've been all over him, bro. And then, dude, fuck that, bro. Like you ain't doing that shit. You ain't. Uh, I survived so much shit to have your stupid ass come in my truck. I'm trying to help you, and then fucking threaten me like that. You get the fucking out of your mind. All but right, Dave's an asshole so, too. All Dave's right, an asshole all right. Too, right. Now okay. listen. Now, now, hold on, <laughs> hold on. We're, okay, we about to get we about to get to Dave in a minute. All right, so, all right, all right, you, as the trainee, you're in Tyreek's position now. You, as the trainee, and Dave was talking to you with a lot of disrespect, what you would have done? You're not in the right fucking way. You know what? I, I'm if you're not going to listen, if you're not going to listen, we'll park this fucker. He's trying to tell you what I don't know what you're trying to tell me, homie. Right. Well, you got to be like, yo, dude, you don't know how to talk to people, bro. Like, and I, I got to understand, like, if I, if he told me prior, yo, don't wait to the last minute to merge. Make sure you merge as soon as you can. Don't wait, don't wait, don't wait. And then you're just taking your fucking time, and then blah blah blah. blah. Yo, you deserve the sarcasm, bro. You know what I mean, like straight up. But it, but if he just came at you with straight sarcasm and all that little huffy, he, can't, he came at you. You're, you're, you're in the position. Yeah, yeah, that whiny bullshit. Then yeah, he's a dick. You know what I mean? But yo, it's easy. Instead of getting crazy like that, you could have made one phone call and be like, "Yo, I'm gonna knock this motherfucker out. Get me off his truck. That's it." You know what I mean? Instead of directing it towards him. You know what I mean? All right. Just keep it between you and the company. I mean, I said that's the proper way. But if you think you're going to go far acting like that, any company that sees you acting like that, they're not going to want you in there. You're a problem waiting to happen. Now, you know what I mean? Now, let me ask you this. Being that you're uh, a trainer with uh, with 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 uh, night, night transportation, that yep. if that would have went if that would have went down, do you think night transportation would give? Uh, would give the trainee Tyreek uh, another trainer or another opportunity with the company after uh, seeing that video. Get, let's get the fuck out this truck. I'll fuck you up, nigga. Fuck is you talking to, You're blood? You're talking no nigga here. Fuck is you talking to, blood? I'll That's beat your nigga. motherfucking ass, homeboy. No. Because fighting fighting's a, a policy breaker. There's no there's no reason to fight. And he would have definitely fought if if you'd have got out the truck, I mean, if you're gonna go that far, I don't know why he's just gonna start beating the shit out on the side of the street. I mean, right there in the in the seat, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like you already you already took it to that level, so 
Uh, once you start saying I'm gonna fuck you up and all that crap, you already just threatened me. So like, I don't, I don't mm. give a fuck. And if Knight wanted to fire me for whooping your ass, if that's what happened, then so be. I wouldn't give a fuck. Okay. <laughs> okay. Like, I'm just, I'm, so, but yeah, it's a policy break. You can't act like that, you know. You know what I mean? But fighting's a no go in this company. You can't fight no matter what. You're not supposed to fight. Now there. You know what I mean? So now D, there. Now let's let's be honest though. Let's be honest though. There there are some reckless mouth speaking trainers though for real for real oh, like yeah, some yes, of them yes, some yes. of them come in and 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 think they have a freaking god complex over you because you, you you're the trainee you don't know nothing you don't know what you're doing and here's the trainer that thinks that oh okay well you know, I I I I, I am all knowing, and you gotta you gotta do and say as I do, or if not, I'm gonna I'm gonna speak to you in any kind of way. Is there any level of of respect that is needed between the trainer and trainee? No, you don't need to respect the trainer. You just gotta listen to him. <laughs> That's it, bro. You know, like I had I had students I didn't like. You know, we weren't cool, but I had a job to do, and we got through it. And I told him, I said, you listen, I'm not here to be your friend. If we become friends, then so be it. You know what I mean? But I'm going to teach you first, always. You know what I mean? So, like, you got to listen to what I'm trying to tell you. If you don't understand, talk to me. And I'll try to figure it a different way to explain it so you see what I'm trying to tell you. That's the way I break it down. You know what I mean? If we become friends afterwards or during, then so be it. You know what I mean? But as far as I'm not here to be your friend, I'm here to teach you. So we could be friends. And sometimes getting fr too friendly is a problem, too, because they try to be buddy buddy when they're doing something wrong they try to give you that smile like oh okay you know i got you but nah, nah, nah. i need to see the difference because even though i'm your boy i'm gonna fail your ass you don't listen you know what i mean and and then they get pissed off does that make sense or not that makes that makes plenty of sense man that's what's up yeah yeah dude you gotta be cool there's some trainers that never been to shit their whole lives they probably never graduated high school they probably don't have any skill trade they don't do shit they jump in this truck. They drive good for three, four fucking months. They got a good safety score. And all of a sudden, bang, they're a fucking teacher. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and they don't know shit either. You know what I mean? But so that's, like, that's, the, that's the company's fault, though. I mean, you know, no, because... That's the company's fault. But the problem is that these dudes, you gave them a sense of power, and they're not used to having power. So now all of a sudden, they're hot shit. They think they're hot shit because they're a teacher, but they're not. They're not teachers. Some of them are fucking just learning how to park themselves. If they, if you got one trainer only teaches you one style of parking, like they stand by that structure, put your wheels here, turn till you get to this far, do this, do that, blah blah. blah. That's not a real teacher, yo. That's a, that's somebody that just knows the structure. That's it. He knows what he learned, and he's just passing it on to you. He's not really teaching you. Mm. You know what I mean? So, if he's an idiot, he just bred another one. You know what I mean? That's all it is. So, mm. it's like you got to really vet trainers you know and some of them that don't have the experience on how to teach or how to talk to people they're not good talkers like this guy Dave, the way he's talking like how are you supposed to assume that this kid's supposed to know to merge quicker or do anything he could have been like hey don't wait till the last minute because you're not in the right fucking way you know what I, I'm you're not gonna listen if you're not gonna listen we'll pack this fucker Trying to tell you what I don't know fuck what you're trying to tell me, homeboy. Right. Well, you got supposed to cross that. And then another thing is that you're probably gonna have a divider, and you're not gonna try to race the divider and see and play chicken with somebody that you know. You're gonna have to miss the exit just to be safe because you're gonna do an erratic movement. And it's not safe. That's all. Try to do better next time. You know. What I mean? All right, all right. It's, it's just, um, <laughs> it's just you know, like I said, it, 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 it's a respect thing, and like you said, you 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 don't have to respect me. It's just that. I just want to I would I just want you to listen to what I got to say or or you know so that you can understand how to do this or what works or whatever the case. But yeah, the the the, the blow up though. Yeah, that that was you know that was a bit much and like I said there's blame there's blame on both sides. You know what I'm saying? There's blame on both sides. Blame on Tyreek's side and blame on 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 Dave's side, he was constantly warning the trainee that don't wait to merge because that's a serious hazard. Like there's some kids like the lanes running out and they just wait until the lane runs out and they're gonna keep you into the side. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It could be a real hazard. So I don't, I understand what he's seeing, but I don't like the way that he's 
was riding him like with that attitude you know the little right. sarcasm right like you know what i mean but, but i mean the whole that's what i'm saying i have questions that's all you know i mean and that, i don't know this kid for I don't, right. I don't know this kid, Tariq. I'm not judging him as right. a person. That's I'm what I'm saying. About. I'm not, you know, the, even though that me and him never, you know, even though me and him haven't got a, got the, got together, I, the, inv the invitation is still out. I mean, I, I still would love to hear the story. And, you know, I still would love to talk to the young man and all like that, you know. So I, it, it, there's no judgment. There, There's no judgment here. But I can only, I, I can only assess what I see. And as I said before, you know, there's 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 blame on both sides. You know what I'm saying? So there's no more blame on Tyreek's side, no more blame on Dave's side. The blame is equal. You know, the the respect just wasn't there for for the both of them, especially at the tail end of the video. The best conversation starts over here with the lockout men podcast show you can get at me y'all know how to do it 216-600-2090 if y'all want to get in and chop it up with the lockout men y'all welcome to call hey tyreek man hey the, the invitation is still out bro if you want to if you want to yeah, get in and uh yeah if you want to get in and conversate with me uh let's let's uh let's do it my man all right, D Nitty, take it easy, man. I'll holler back at you with another. Big cheese got it locked, boy. Much